Today I'm going to do a teardown of the Wyvern X3. This is the charging case, and inside we've got the actual Wyvern X3. So I'm going to need two screwdrivers, the T6 for the case, and the T5 for the actual torch itself to remove the screws. I'll start with the torch. Yes, nice to see there's no Loctite. Makes it a bit easy to open up. Okay, this is going to pop straight off. Looks like there's a weatherproof seal. So those are the two blue LEDs. Let's light it up and see what happens. So five clicks to turn on. One, two, three, four, five. One for on. Cool, so they're the blue LEDs. And one, two, three, four, five to turn it off. This should lift out. A tight fit. It's not much wiggle room. Whoop, okay, something got shorted. Actually, I noticed that activating before. Maybe there is a short. See if we can pull it from this side. Interesting. Okay. Um. Got to be a little bit of play. So there's obviously some kind of protection circuitry here, or I expect there would be one. Yeah, there's a little PCB in the middle behind those two tabs. So rotating this, it's activating these lights. Why is it activating? There must be a short somewhere. So that is the circuitry. Let's put this back together and check out the head. It's going to be water resistant, but not waterproof. So it's still a slight bulge. So it's working. Okay, so now I'll take off the front faceplate. Alright, nice one. Nice little OLED. Let's reassemble this. It would be nice for that to be lowered and centered. Let's take the front faceplate off and see what's under the reflector. Nice one. Um, what have we got? We've got a TIR optic and 
that does not appear to be a lens, unless it's a really small one. Rather, a glass protective lens. Ooh, that's not... If I lift this up, I might be pulling the MCPCP off the shelf, whether the hopefully is thermal based, but uh, this is cool. So that's the PIR slash reflector. Got the red and the white emitters. I would like to know if there is any thermal paste. Yeah, it's got thermal paste. And I'm smudging it all over my fingers and everywhere. Okay. So that works. Okay, let's try and do a teardown of the charging case. Yep, so that is popping out. It's the back plate. So it's these ones. Is that also a T6 or is it T5? It is T6, but I am going to leave it on there just in case I destroy everything. Yeah, that might be glued. Let's put this back together. Please sits here. So let's put it there. And I will flip the whole thing over and see if it goes together without falling out. Cool, so it's clipped in. Don't want to break it. That won't. Okay, so it goes together, turns on. Let's see if it still charges. If this is at above 90%, it might not charge, which is fine. 